What's going on YouTube? Boss Man Picks coming back at you with another one. Coming off an amazing day, guys. We got the sweep 3 and 0, but actually was 7 0 in the Discord. So, man, hey, everything went how it was supposed to. I'm going to start with a brief recap. Uh, we had Sabonis for less than 22 rebounds and assists. We had Tyler Hero for less than 25 and a half points. And Haywood Highsmith for over six and a half points. And yeah, man, all of them did their thing, man. Sabonis and Hero was a sweat, but hey, we knew it was going to be that. Those two good players. And Highsmith, man, he got it done in garbage time, but better late than never. So, And then the other players were just Discord exclusive plays. I added, you know, to fill out the Flex Friday slip. So, you know, nice little win, 200. It literally sweat free because it was a protected flex play. But then I also called out another another two-man banger. Actually, it was a three-man because under Underdog gave us the little Sabonis special. So, you know, I had to go and pair some little quick and easy picks with it. So, the first, first quarter props. So, you know, either they was going to get it done or not. But I wasn't even about to sweat them out the whole game. But... Luckily, the guys got it done, man. So, so yeah, it was an amazing day, y'all. Like I say, seven out of seven, man. So, hopefully, we can keep it rolling. But, yeah, let me go ahead and get to my picks for today. My first pick, man, we're going to start with Easy Money Sniper, man, KD. Hey, it's playoff time, like I've been saying, man. But the reason I'm rolling with KD is because this prop is just simply too low. Like, it is the playoffs, and I just, I really can't picture KD getting under 24 points first game of the playoffs. He's 100% healthy, you know, unless Booker happens to go for 40 or 50, which is possible, but, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen. But, as you can see, he's went over two of the last five games. Like I say, nothing amazing. But the books do have it favored on the over. They have it at negative 118, negative 120. And even some books have it as high as negative 133. And they had an under at plus money. So, you know, Vegas thinks it's going over. And I do as well because, you know, it's Kevin Durant, a legend. But the reason the prop is so low because the matchup is super tough. They are one in points allowed. They do give up a little slack to small forwards or... But KD will be playing a little small forward, a little power forward. Well, he'll be at the four, but he plays small forward. But, yeah, they're eighth in points allowed to small forward. So, over the last ten, nothing amazing. But, you know, like I say, it's the playoffs. I believe KD will come to play today. Let's check out the head-to-head. -head. Yeah, head-to-head, -head, he's played them twice this year. And he didn't pass it in either or. So, you know, if if, if you want to fade, it, it, I understand because the, the previous hit rates are not looking amazing. They're not lining up how I like. But, you know, I just feel like 23 and a half is way too low for KD. His props literally been at 25 and a half, 26 and a half all year. So, you know, we already given the two point discount. Then on top of it, with it, with it just being the playoffs and an important game, and you know that this will be their first time seeing each other, so they won't necessarily well their first time seeing each other in the playoffs. So you know the schemes will be new. So I, I just expect KD to come out aggressive and get it done, guys. Now, uh, sorry about all that mumbling. Enough with that. On to the next pick. We're gonna go to my guy, man. This right here, man. This. Like I say, I play him. He a boss man pick. Exclusive. Special. But it's my guy, man, Jalen Brunson. But I'm I'm not going to roll with him on the points today. I really want to, y'all. But I ain't going to touch him, so. Hold up. There you go. But, yeah, I'm rolling with his, re with his uh, rebounds and assists. And we got it from over 10 and a half rebounds and assists. And as you can see, he's cleared at four of the last five games. And this is heavily favored to go over as well. Yeah, some books have it all the way at negative 140. So, usually when it gets up that high, you can't expect to see a bump. So, 
Maybe if you guys catch this later tomorrow afternoon or whatnot, it may be at 11. I'm, I'm really liking it way better at the 10 and a half. I'm not going to even lie. But I'm, like I say, if you catch this now, you're still on prize picks at 10 and a half. So it's looking good. Uh, let's see what they had to under it. Yeah, they had an under all the way at plus 110, and other books had a negative 105, negative 106. But yeah, let's look at the hit right. And he's hit it, uh, let's see, he's hit it seven of the last 10 games, so that's amazing hit right. And actually, he's hit it in, what's that, I believe, seven of the last eight games. He only missed it one game against Boston. In that game, he just went absolutely banana scoring the ball, so... You know, hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking Philly, you know, defense will be a little tough. Like I said, it's the playoffs, so he's going to have to share the ball. Hopefully, he can catch, you know, DiVincenzo for a few threes. Hopefully, him and Harkenstein, they have a nice little connection, too, on the pick and roll. Maybe catch him and Harkenstein to drop a few of those little little baby floaters in. and You know, and then he, he plays so many minutes to the rebounds. I believe three or four rebounds are coming his way. They're not that great at rebounding. They're 20 seconds. So, this, you know, near the bottom. And they're 10th in the assist allowed. So, you know, it's, he got got room. But they are 10th against point guards. But, yeah, let's check out the minutes. Yeah, he's, he's going to play 40 minutes. He's going to play, like, he's going to play 40 to 42 minutes. No no if ands, and buts, so I'm not worried about that at all. But yeah, that's my second play. I'm liking Jalen Brunson over ten and a half rebounds and assists. And my last play I'm liking on here, guys. Man, it's it's a wagon, man. My guy, he kind of hurt. He kind of hobbled, man. But hey, I feel like he's still gonna get it done because. Hey, they wouldn't have a prop up if, if they just knew he wasn't going to get it done. You feel me? But we're going to look into the numbers. But I like Embiid for over 14 and a half first half points. And the reason I'm liking this is because, you know, I feel like New York, they, they have some nice big guys, but they really have no one that can hold Embiid at all. Like, I, I rolled with them a, a couple of videos ago. But that was against the Heat. The Heat is literally the toughest defense in the league. They they scheme and plot the, like no other. New York, they're they're a tough defense, but it's nothing like the Heat. So you know, I believe he'll be head up, probably going against Harkenstein and maybe a little Mitchell Robinson, or uh, if it's not those two, they whoever's on them definitely going to get cooked. So you know, I'm feeling real good about this. <laughs> Then also, too, like I say, with his knee and whatnot, I, I do like the first half better. So, hopefully he comes out strong, get his, gets at least about 10 points in the first quarter. And, you know, can just kind of coach second quarter and get us the other five points we need. But let's check it out, though. Let's check the data out. Now, I ain't with the first half prop, Joel B. it looks real good. They don't have the odds because it's a prize pick special play. But as you can see, the hit rate was seven of the last ten, and that's including him missing the other day. And even over the 20 games, it's 16 out of the last 20. And for the whole 2024 that he played, 2023-2024 season, he went 30 out of 40. So it's an amazing hit rate, 75% for the season. So... You know, three times out of four, he's going to get this done all season. You know what I'm saying? So, And he's hit it all four times against these guys. He he only played them once this year, and he ended with 16. Well, he yeah, he ended the half with 16. So, you know, it's looking good, man. It's looking real good. So, uh, the matchup is two. There are two in points allowed. And four against centers, but uh, it's in B, man. Like I say, he'll have Harkenstein and Robinson on him, and any anybody else ain't even got a chance. So you know, I can't even imagine him trying to put hard on them. Or I'm trying to think who is the other guys on New York, man. That 
it ain't looking too good to be real, man. But yeah, hold on, let's look, let's check this out. Yeah, no injuries. But yeah, man. But yeah, those are my three plays, y'all. KD, over 23.5 points. Jalen Brunson, over 10.5 rebounds and assists. And Joel B over 14.5 points, man. Hey, man, if you still rocking with me, I appreciate it, man. Like I say, yesterday was a banger. That vi that video, man, get that many views, but whoever seen it, whoever tell me, we ate, man. Hopefully, the streak can continue. Hey, it's just the start of a new streak, guys. Hope, like I say, hopefully we get another 3-0. But yeah, man, Boston Man Picks, I'm out. Good luck, y'all.